What's up guys mga kabaro? Welcome back to my channel, Mage Lord. And for those who are new to my channel, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for my new videos. So today's vlog guys is how to prepare the bridge prior to departure. So we're here at Odessa, Ukraine. And I'm gonna show you what we need to do, what we need to prepare here on the bridge before departure. Our departure time tomorrow around 1500. So watch and enjoy the video guys, mga kabaro. Just sit back and relax. So we're here on the bridge guys and the most important part to prepare is the voyage plan. So you need to prepare the Eclipse for the next port. So you need to load everything here on the Eclipse, the waypoints and voyages for the next port. So this is our master Eclipse guys. I'll show you how to load. So we are using here the Transas Eclipse. So you need to load in the master Eclipse and then go to task list. Road planning, load the next port, Odessa to Marport, and then as you can see this blue line, here this is the waypoint for the next, next voyage, for the next port, and then just press the monitoring so that it will be sent to the active route for monitoring guys. Now it is in monitoring. So you can select the the waypoint for pilot station so that it will be automatically calculate the ATA for the next next waypoint or next desired waypoint or usually next pilot station. So in this minute like this I will choose the pilot station on the Marport and then you can write here the arrival ETA for the next port so arrival ETA for the next port is 29 August 1800 uh, no 1200 enter so as you can see it is as is calculated there in this side and also here you will know from this present time the speed required if you depart from now you need 6.3 knots so the speed will increase as the time of departure will also change So guys, now it's done. Let's go to the EIS. We need to put the next port and the schedule date of arrival. So as per schedule, coastal schedule guys for the next port, Ambarli. So it will be 29 of August 2020, 12. So I will put this uh, time of arrival on the EIS so that it will be ready for tomorrow so this is our EIS monitor unit we just need to press this one and then choose the another port because it's already loaded here so this is the Ambarley port the Mar port and then enter select so the time of arrival is 29 enter of august and then 1200 12 o'clock noon time enter so as you can see the drop it will be input before the departure with a chip officer already 
take the drop or the duty officer so just back to the navigational status and now it's it is moored so that is EIS is already set up and then next is uh, preparing the passage plan for the next voyage I'm here in my computer so here I'm opening my folder my file my passage plan for the present so passage plan is ready for the next voyage I just need to update this one Odessa to Marport so this is uh, our passage plan guys so you need, just need to update this one only prepare the time and the voyage number because tomorrow you will just need to input the the, the drop and the displacement and everything will be automatic and then you can print it out for the passage line I will go to the radio room where I can find the NMARSAT see number one and number two is here And then I need to look if there is some news regarding our weather reports. So, as you can see, here we received some weather forecasts in this area. Mid area and warning. So, you need, just need to check everything here, guys. If in your voyage, here you just need to check this uh, forecast. If this uh, weather is uh, good or bad in your area. So that you will be prepared and tell the master what will be the next weather in your voyage. So after that, you can also check in your nap text. I'm here in our like this room. So as you can see, this is our nap text receiver, and there's a paper printed out, some navigational warnings. And then you can check here if this warning is within your voyage area so that it will you will be prepared everything before the voyage especially like this navigation naval training exercise and missile firing military exercise this is very important guys so that you will know if this one is included in your voyage area because this uh this training exercise is uh, potentially dangerous to your vessel and you need to plot this one in your like this using the maps so after that one after checking and uh, all these uh, warnings you need to check also and set up the time if there's is a time difference from your UTC from X from your GPS just compare your GPS GPS time to your ship's time and then adjust everything accordingly so so that tomorrow during departure you will not be in hurry to adjust something if there is time difference in your ship's time after that I will go to my radar to compare the Heading of the radar to our gyro. As you can see, this is our gyro. We use this one, gyro number two, 165.9. Compare that one to your radar heading. So, this is our radar expand. As you can see, the heading is also 165.9. So, it's important to compare this one, guys. So that the ship's heading will be correct during the departure and also you can compare that one and here in in your s-band radar 165.9 and your ectis 165.9 so
So, both egg dish, you need to check everything the same. So, it's the same, 165.9 heavy. So, if it is not the same, you need to adjust accordingly, guys, so that it will be coincide with the gyro compass. So, that tomorrow, everything will be okay, and you will not be in hurry, and it will not take time to adjust this one. So, it is poor equipment. So, better check before, before or ahead of time. After that, you can also check your gyro compass, compare the the main gyro to your repeaters. First of all, your your center repeater here on the bridge. So 165.9, and then as you can see, also 165.9 here on the bridge. After that, you can compare port and starboard, port side, we will go port side, so this is our gyro compass, we need to open this one to check if it is also correct and the same with the master gyro. After preparing all the necessary navigational equipment, you can also prepare the departure checklist, pilot card, bell book, just put the name of the port and date so that it will be ready before the departure. Here in movement book or bell book, you can write already the name of the ship, voyage number, date, and also the name of the port. So guys, that are some of the things we do prior to departure. Of course, different ships, different preparation, but most of the preparations we do now is uh, the same, especially in this container vessel. Hopefully you get something here and learn something in this video. You can comment down below if you have some questions or suggestions or anything. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe, hit the notification bell for more videos and notify immediately if you have if I have some new videos so until next time guys mga kabaro rock and roll si Manlo Loyal